Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Fortnite Chapter 4 here on the channel. Now, before we get into the actual game, I just want to say, look how beautiful this image is. Listen to how amazing that music is. And that is because the, well, the graphics in particular, are because Fortnite is now in Unreal Engine 5.1. So if you want to check that out in more detail, make sure to go to the Epic website. But that increases graphics for Xbox Series X and S, PS5, um, PC and cloud gaming. It absolutely looks stunning. It doesn't look like Fortnite anymore. Um, we have the new Chapter 4 Season 1 Battle Pass, new features. Claiming your territory, so if you stay in a POI capture point, you can capture a POI for your team where you get all the extra loot. Hotspots are back, so if you look for a golden um, POI on your minimap, that means that there will be flying drones there that you could shoot down to get extra guns. There are now sky jellyfish that can uh, give you some health regen. Slap juice and slap berries which give you health back but they also give you um, maximum unlimited, well, unlimited energy regen for a period of time so you can sprint without using any stamina. There is also new weapons of the shockwave hammer, the tactical pistol, the Twin Mag SMG, the Red Eye Assault Rifle, um, the Maven Auto Shotgun, the Thunder Shotgun, the Excalibur Rifle. As well, when you're now running at obstacles, you can hurdle over them. So if there's a low obstacle, you can now hurdle yourself over it. There are augments now, so those of you that remember Chapter 2 Season 2 with the perks in the Spy Games, they're sort of back and you get those just in normal game modes now, so we'll see how those work soon enough. As well, look out for Hulk smashing his way into the item shop soon. And steer your dirt bike steed. We now have dirt bikes to ride. And I'll get on to the rest in a minute once we watch this video. So this we obviously saw at the end of the event yesterday. I didn't get to see it myself because I got kicked, but... You guys can now see the end of the Fracture event live right here. Here we have the Hulk, and then next up here we have Mr. Beast, neither of which are in the Battle Pass by the way, so those will be in the item shop soon enough. Here we have the new island, and here we have the new Battle Bus which will take us on to the actual Chapter 4 trailer itself. Where we get to see some of those new features I mentioned, some of the new graphics and some of the new locations. So let's check it out. <coughs> Whoa. Some of these new weapons look cool. Oh my god. So the snowball looks really cool, but we've got Doom Guy as well. So Doom Guy is in the battle path. And not only Doom Guy, but the secret skin of this season, Geralt of Revere. For those of you that like the Witcher, we have Geralt. Right. Looks like there's a bit of a medieval theme area. Whoa. That's Deku from My Hero Academia. So, the My Hero Academia crossover is confirmed. And here we have buying the battle pass so I'm just quickly gonna do this you guys obviously aren't gonna see it on the screen because to protect my information and stuff it won't show it you so 
just really quickly gonna get ourselves a month of Fortnite crew just to get this battle pass. I've pretty much saved the money for it. And whilst we get this, new locations to encounter. The Citadel. This point of interest is the castle ruled by the Ageless. Anvil Square. Um, Anvil Square is a peaceful looking town in the heart of a forest. Emphasis on peaceful looking. Brutal Bastion. This headquarters of the Reality Warriors is located among the snow mountains. Speaking of snow, hit snow with your pickaxe to create a snowball. Jump inside, then get rolling. You can attack enemies this way too. Now, as you can see, we've just got ourselves the crew pack rewards. And we've got the new battle pass for Chapter 4 Season 1. Which we will go and have a look at in a second. Other locations, Frenzy Fields. Considering this farm is abandoned, what makes it frenetic are the battles that happen here. And wait, what's that rock? If you venture to the Shattered Slab's mining facility, you'll notice Kinetic Ore. Pull off Physics Sorcery with Kinetic Ore to strategically attack your opponent. So it looks like the weapons on this new chapter are made from this Kinetic Ore, so... Could be something intriguing to have a little look at. So we've got our first skin, Selene. Her destiny lies in the stars. So we'll go and have a little look at that in a second. But the most important things are... We've got the refractured light loading screen, which the code can be found on Twitter, and we have the new Chapter 4 Island theme, which we're going to equip as our music pack. So, the one thing you'll notice straight away is the UI looks a bit different. The next thing you'll notice is the Battle Pass looks very, very different this season, as the pages are now broken down a little bit more, and you just need to level up to progress through. So we'll have a little look at that in a second. Uh, let's have a little look at the item shop, see if there's anything new or of note there. Not really anything of note yet. So, gotta admit, I absolutely love this new lobby screen. Looks beautiful. So, a new beginning awaits. Ride the Trail Thrasher Dirt Bike, power up with reality augments, try out new weapons, and... Um, more as you explore the island. Zero build, obviously, is still here. It's a pure test of weapon, item, and traversal skill. No building required. Shaft your sharp shooting and quick thinking as you take on the battlefield tilt, which is how we're going to play it. Squad comms. Um, so, the squad comms were out in last season, but they're still here. So, um, if, if you've not really tried those out, you can try them out now. And we have got the new Trail Thrasher Dirt Bike as well, which looks pretty cool. But without further ado, let's have a little look at this Battle Pass then, how it's going to work. So you've got your Fortnite Crew tab at the bottom. You've got all these different tabs at the bottom. We've got Geralt of Revere, who will not be out for about nine and a half weeks. So Geralt isn't coming for a little while, folks. So if you want Geralt, unfortunately, you are going to have to wait. You can see down the bottom as well that the season will last all the way until March 10th, so this is quite a long season. But yeah, Geralt of Revere. And they've made him look more like the game than they have like the show as well, which is why he's part of the Gaming Legend series, which I quite like. We've got the bonus rewards pages, which obviously some of those are out now. But the secret super leveling styles don't come out for another 11 days. But let's go and take a look at what's this, mid-season drops, so part way through the season as well we'll get extra quests where you can unlock, if you earn extra levels at those points you can then unlock extra styles for the skins. And battle pass rewards then, let's have a little look at the actual battle pass itself. So I've got to be careful because of icon series. but. Selene is an interesting skin. <coughs> I'm not quite sure what to think of her just yet. Masai, he's interesting. Again, not too sure what to think of him. I quite like this emote. Balance board, that's quite a cool emote. The alternative style from the size is quite cool. Then the next few pages are to do with Doom Slayer. So, obviously, a lot of you guys saw it in the um, 
event yesterday, we have got Doom Slayer. Doom Slayer even has the emote that we saw in the uh, event where he fist bumps a little statue of himself. I shall call him Mini Slayer and he will be my friend. And then there are alternate styles for Doom Slayer as well. If we continue through the battle pass, the next thing that we see is Dusty. Um, quite an interesting skin actually. She, I, she, she does look pretty decent. And then on the next page, she's got her alternate style, Boneyard Dusty. As you can see as well, you can see that certain rewards require certain level thresholds. So you just got to keep leveling up to get your rewards like you used to. Um, but it's broken down a little bit more. We then have Nozumi. Interesting anime style outfit. Hypnotize. I quite like Nozumi's emote, I must say. Um, and then Nozumi also has an alternate style. Then the next page we see an interesting outfit that we've seen before in sort of concept art, but she looked anime style there, healthy. And then we've also got Bobarista Halsey, which is our alternate style. And then the final two or three pages, we have the Ageless. Now, what is interesting with the Ageless is a lot of you will recognise who he is. The Ageless is in fact Jano, or it was in the files and the comics Jano. So either they've retconned Jano, or this is some very, very sneaky, secretive thing. I love the loading screen for Jano though on uh, page 14. Gotta say, Jano is very, very cool. And I just wanted to clarify as well, guys, that this is the first tier 100 skin that we've had that has been original since chapter two, season six. So very much looking forward to uh, getting the ageless. So, how do season uh, quests work? Dailies work exactly the same. Milestones are pretty much the exact same, just as a few new ones and some of the old ones have been removed. We've got um, tutorial quests for augments, which I will get onto in a minute. We've got explorer quests, which are to do with the new map. This week's quests, so weeklies, um, they appear to be timed now, so that's kind of annoying. And we have got the new Oathbound quests, which is the theme for this season. So we have had Resistance, we had Vibin, we had Paradise, this season we have Oathbound. So as you can see, um, again they are going to be timed, a bit like last season, but we'll have five parts this time, so hopefully they won't be quite as overbearing. But to complete, to unlock Oathbound, you must complete the Augment tutorial. So... Without further ado, I'm going to just start making a note of some of these quests and then we will get straight into the game. Right. So, what we've got here, these are all going to give us 20,000 XP each, which is interesting. And then when we complete them, we actually are going to get some different um, rewards. We're going to get ourselves a pickaxe and an emoticon by the looks of it. And then we actually have our weekly quests as well of trying new stuff. So, we'll see how these work soon. They also want us to make uh, use of creative as well. So that's intriguing. But the first one that we have to notice is these um, augment tutorials. So, without further ado, let's jump into a game. Well, let's, let's make a note of these first. So, augment tutorial. They're going to give us the loading screen for Fracture if you complete them. So, 
And it also looks like we've still got Amy talking to us, so Amy's still alive at least. That's always a good thing. Or is it, I guess. Amy can be quite annoying. So, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not, realistically. <laughs> <coughs> We will soon see. So, want to try some of the scientists' experimental tech? Prepare for a call on your next bus ride. And we have got our lovely new pictures for Zero Build and Build, so... Alright. We'll go for Zero Build, and what we're going to do is we're going to... Just check out the new map, I guess. So, this will be uh, interesting to see what Fortnite is now like. So we have a new spawn island, and the new spawn island is far off away from the island as well as what you will notice, so we are still sort of floating in space after the Fracture event. You can see the effects that the Fracture event has had. So obviously spawn island is now at a distance, looking out across the map, far off in the distance, so be interesting to see how this works. So we've got new weapons. The Red Eye Assault Rifle. Oh, the Tactical Pistol looks pretty cool. Oh god, I'm going to be really bad with this Assault Rifle. Whoa, the way you now warp into the battle bus is cool. So Amy's so experimenting with new I'll stuff, and apparently <clears throat> the seven are missing, so make of that what you will. But the way that this island works is very weird, because we seem to have a sky, but how is there a sky when the dome is broken? land over here. I know it's not a named POI, but we'll head down towards the named POI in a minute. Fortnite looks absolutely beautiful now. So these, this is the new Oathbound chest. Whoa, we have the new hammer. We have the new SMG as well, and we have a new Red Eye Assault Rifle. Right. Is mantling no longer a thing? Oh no, it is. These new sound effects are intriguing. The thunder shotgun is supposed to be like a pump action type thing that goes. So. So, this new reality augmentation system is basically like perks. 
from um, way back in chapter two, season three, uh, chapter two, season two. Sorry, with the spy games. So how that's going to work effectively is that you pick which one you want, and you then get the perk for the game. So we'll have a little look now. And you can see that it pops up at the side like a little warning. And you can activate it when you're ready. So if you're in the middle of a fight, it's not going to stop your fight. But you can sort of pick and then you get to pick which one you want. So as you can see here, I click it and I've got more parkour or bush warrior. And you pick which one you want. So more parkour, your energy regenerates briefly after mantling or hurdling. Or bush warrior, you regenerate health and partial shields while inside large foliage. You can also re-roll them as well. But once you pick, then you've got yourself a nice augment. Which you can then use and utilise to your heart's content. So I feel like that makes most, most sense. Um, okay, this is a, it's a fairly simple system, but I also believe that you do get more as the game goes on. So let's have a little look at the quest, see what it says. So yeah, you do get another one. She's just saying you're ready for another augment. So. You just got to stay alive, pretty much. Surviving till augments are available. And each of these quests give 25,000 XP. So they do give a lot of XP for you to utilize. So, I didn't mean to click the pistol, I actually wanted to switch to the mechanical, because having bows would be quite cool. Oh, we accidentally just hurdled, I didn't mean to do that either. What I do know is I realistically need to run. But as we run, we're going to sort of take a little look at this POI over here. I like how ha even the little houses now have chimneys with stuff on them. Oh, that's quite nice. Makes it makes the Fortnite Island feel a little bit more lived in. If you know what I mean. So just before we actually head, let's have a little look. So this is Breakwater Bay. Now, obviously we didn't get to have a proper look at the inside of it, but looks like the POIs this time are going to be quite cool, so. True question is, is can I now make it out of the storm? Fingers crossed I can. But this obviously will be a bit of a longer video with it obviously being the start of a new um, chapter. We've got a lot to explore. So we have found the new location of the Citadel. I somehow get the feeling that this might have a boss in it. But we also have ourselves a new augment coming our way. Another reality 
Uh, so we're not going to try out that augmentation just yet, because obviously we are in the storm still. So. Right. So the Citadel is quite a massive location. So that little tower on that island is only a small part of it. The rest of it is all this gigantic structure up here. So it'll be interesting to uh, to um, explore these a bit more in detail, obviously. Um, not really going to do that on the video. Um, I am, however, going to try out these slap berries. So slap berries give you a little bit of health, but the most important thing that's going to be useful for us right now is they give you temporary unlimited um, shield. Uh, not shield, energy. So we can just carry on sprinting and running and sprinting and running without having to worry about our stamina wearing off. Just for about 10-15 seconds, but it's a nice little boost and it's noticeable to help if you're trying to ev evade the storm. Right. Gotta admit, I quite like the medieval vibe that we seem to have here. Right, let's activate our next augment, I guess. And then we have another one coming as well in a second. Good luck out there. But obviously we won't be able to activate that one just yet. Because we need to head into the next storm circle. God, God, this is quite a fast paced game. Right. I've got to admit, Fortnite absolutely looks beautiful now. Like, I really can't go over how different it looks, but at the same time, it's stunning. You can also see where different parts of the islands were sort of smashed together as well. Which has obviously led to the creation of this map. So for now, let's try and find somewhere to hide. Probably down in this gas station for now. So. choose ourselves an augment then. This vehicle one seems cool. And then that's all of the augment tutorial for So that was augment tutorial I guess. 
Honestly, I'm, a, I'm just a little bit bewildered by all of this. There's, there's so much to try and get through. Right, we're going to leave the uh, Oathbound quests though for now. God, Fortnite looks absolutely beautiful. This is honestly gorgeous to look at. I'm going to check out this little name location, I guess. Faulty splits. Huh. So someone up here had the uh, new motorbikes. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! That 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 was mad. This is awesome though. So let's sort of just carry on watching because she's got the Excalibur rifle, so. Uh, uh, Excalibur rifle, so it shoots blades that explode, and that's what just really, really killed us there. My god. That thing is mad. <laughs> and she's got my shockwave hammer now. Whoa, so we get to see how that works. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, this is awesome. I really like some of these things already, I must say. Alright, and we will go and explore some more of the map in the next game. So this season doesn't seem to have a name, but based on the quest, I would assume that the name of this season is um, Oathbound. No, <laughs> that's what I'm going to assume, but honestly, the game, the graphics are so pretty. This guy has just found what eight safes. Oh wow! If you take if you take from the safes, the guy shoots you. That's cool. <laughs> oh no wonder this guy killed me. He has a blooming mythic of those rifles. I'm assuming that comes from the Ageless, because as far as I know, the Ageless is a boss NPC in this. So. Oh my god. This is incredible though.
<laughs> this is this is really really cool though. I, I'm, I'm, I quite, I feel like I'm gonna quite like this. So I'm intrigued by this whole concept of the Oathbound. I'm trying to work out if that's going to be the, this sort of like new villains of the story. Be interesting to see. These are the Oathbound's most prized weapons. Build them honourably. My God. I do like how we've still not got like scars and stuff back, I must admit, but I feel like some people aren't going to like them. Oh, that guy just won. Huh. All in all, it's going to be interesting to see what Fortnite is like now. I must say. Like, we've just leveled up so much though in one game, that's quite incredible. So let's have a look at the map and what we've got so far and the other quests that we've still got to do. Can you withstand the heat of intense battle? So, we've, we've uncovered a f reasonable bit of the map for a first game. Um, what is interesting to see is how sparse it is. There's not a lot of name locations if you look. There's only, I believe, nine. Yeah, there's only nine on here. So there is a lot, there's space for more, potentially up towards sort of this sort of area, but um, which you'll see in a second. But a lot of people were also claiming that there was going to be um, Polar Peak returning and stuff like that, but I don't see that on this map. I didn't see any sign of any lo old locations returning. And in a way, I kind of like that. We, we need to sort of move forward in the game, I think. So, I think maybe keep some of the key point people from the storyline and key points of the storyline, such as the zero point, which obviously is now here, but at the same time, we kind of want to move forward and make a new, make this game different now. So, I think in a way, they're going in the right direction with that. So, traverse this kingdom fiercely. Hurdle over 15 objects. It's hmm. an interesting one. So we have quite a few Explorer bonus goals, and then obviously we have our weeklies as well. 
But for now, let's go straight into another game. Right, we are back on Spawn Island. Wait, does Spawn Island change each time? Surely not. Oh no, it's just I'm in a different place. But where's the map? I'm a little bit confused. I do love the way it walks you into the battle bus though. So that is so cool. Don't forget to thank the bus driver. Alright, I'm going to check out this location over here. Reminds me a little bit of Frosty Flights, this one does. In fact, this is almost entirely like Frosty Flights, my god. This isn't a, f f a flying area, this is more of a research lab. That is, because it is Lonely Labs, okay. Wait, we have the regular DMR back? I didn't realise that the regular DMR was back. Be interesting. I feel like I'm going to be really bad with this assault rifle. I do like how it now shows you the scaling damage. So if you hit multiple shots in a row, it will show you their combined damage instead, which is interesting to see. Whoa! We're getting there with the new weapons, I guess. My goodness, I didn't quite expect to get eradicated that quickly, but we did, so here we are. <laughs> So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here, just so that I can make a note of some of these quests, and then we'll get back to it and we will go and uncover some of the other locations. Alright, without further ado folks, we're going to jump into another game and we're going to try and check out some of the other new locations. It's just, there were so many quests, and I always... Um, for those of you that don't know, I do have a Discord server and we ha have the quests all written down. So, just been trying to, as we've been playing, trying to tabulate them and it's not worked very well. So, I just paused just for five minutes just so I could make a note of them. If anyone wants to join the Discord as well, all you need to do is um, check out my links. I, admit, I quite like this thunder shot thing. So I absolutely love the new battle box. The way that works. So cool. Yeah, 
It's powered by IO. It is powered by IO. There is an IO sigil. Oh no. Let's check out this uh, name location over here that's glowing yellow. So. The ones that are glowing yellow, folks, are your hotspots. So, hotspots as they used to work, um, they still do now. They basically have little drones that fly above the area, and you can shoot down those drones for extra loot. I am intrigued about all these different landmarks, and obviously later today, after I've finished this video, I'm going to continue discovering anything that we haven't already, but let's have a little look at this name location then. So, it would seem that this is a Brutal Bastion. And the first thing I noticed, that is a grey scar. So the scars are back, then. But it seems that they work slightly differently now. In terms of you can get them at much lower levels. Uh, it feels good to be using one of these again. I feel like this is going to be my go-to assault rifle now, because I'm not very good with that red dot one. At all. Alright. So Brutal Bastion is... Quite an icy, like, fortress kind of place. Shoot down a couple of these supply bones. See what we get from them. So we have the new Excalibur rifle. Uh, we get to try that out. And then we get to try. <laughs> I feel like it's going to take me a little while to get used to the new chapter, and I'm going to keep dying repeatedly, but... I mean, I'm fine with that. So it's good to know that daily still work the same way at least. So, let's go back in <coughs> and try out our next location, shall we? Right. I just want to try to show all the name locations in a single mat in, in a single video, but I feel like that's just not going to happen, is it? Whoa! So if you do fall off the uh, spawn island, you do just spawn back on, like you did in Fracture, which I quite like. So that's always good to know. I wonder if at some point we'll be able to access the other parts of Spawn Island because there's like a snowy area over there but we can't get to it. Cool to see though. And it is interesting to see that scars are back. The new damage markers are interesting I must say. Right, let's go try out this location down here. You know, I think I'll leave the rest for you guys to go and discover yourselves. We've had a little look in each biome. We've got like a farmyard area over there is the other POI down this sort of side. This one here, it seems to be a massive quarry. Which is interesting to see. And we've got the new Haven Auto Shotgun. 
Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Before Paradigm disappeared, she left us a final mission. And then crushed it between colliding land masses. She was so bad at pranks. Okay. Gather the broken pieces of the Paradigm's final message. I'll decode it for us. Did we just kill each other at the same time? Wait. I think me and this other person just like finished each other at the same time. Which is interesting. I didn't quite know it was possible to do, but it is, so. Make of that what you will, folks. Make of that what you will. Right. And we did get our Oathbound quest from it. Really, I didn't mean to grab, but um, that was Shattered Slabs. We'll do one last game. And these give less XP this time as well, the Oathbound quests is what I've noticed. But then again, Paradise, we only got two parts, whereas Oathbound we're supposed to get five, so... Right. And we'll go and check this location off. In fact, no, we'll go and check this one out in the middle. The one off to the east side looks um, quite plain. The one down the south just looks a bit like Fatal Fields, Anarchy Acres kind of vibe. I want to check out what this place is down here. So we're going to go and check it out. And then this will be our last game, folks. So. This is a really cool location. A medieval market there. So this is Anvil Square. Anyway, well, I guess guys, that was the first good look at Chapter 4 Season 1. It does seem very fun, it just seems like it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Getting used to the map, getting used to the new weapons, getting used to the new mechanics, and especially the new graphics, but honestly, I didn't love them. They're beautiful, and the new UI is also mwah. But with that in mind, guys, that's where I'm going to end the video for today. I know it was obviously a long one, but... We can expect that at the start of a new season. So with all that in mind, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it informative, enjoyable, and fun to watch. And I will see you all in the next one.